Hello and welcome to episode 9 of Idle Alone 100% Human Journey. This episode has a bunch of things in it, including creating a journeyman. Here, by the way, I'm getting the secret card from Bandit Bob. We'll make advanced classes and we'll even knock at the door of the World 2 boss, but our accuracy is too low, so we can't find him yet. But we're gonna reach him and other things. We'll also look at the guild, by the way. We made progress in the terms of guild. The first thing I want to show you is the royal bayonet. I finally got my forest fibers that I needed. And making starlight will be easy. I just need distilled water. You won't see it uh, on screen, but I'll do it off screen. But for that bow, I need 250 gold bars. So that's going to take some time. So the bayonet is made and will improve it like this and give it to our warrior. You'll notice that the, our main character, well, our barbarian in reality, our main character is level 50 right now and by the end we're gonna reach level 60. I'm gonna switch characters and go get that bayonet. I'm gonna need to make another one for my secondary barbarian but I still haven't got it even as I'm speaking to you. I've been a bit lazy on that side. But now I have the forest fibers for it, so I'm gonna make one for my secondary character very, very soon. You'll see that in the next episode. Here, I equip this. And also, I have points that I need to, uh, to attribute as a barbarian. There's gonna be a bunch of guides in the description below. And we'll refer to those a few times during the video. So first guide is the Barbarian Guide. I followed it the best I could with the points I had. This is my point attribution right now. I cannot do exactly as they say because I don't have all the points. But I did my best to, uh, with my own judgment, to get as close as possible as what they recommend. And now I'm much stronger. So I decided to try the sewers. I was really curious about the sewers. I know there's a boss in the end. But I wanted to explore that place and as you can see I can easily destroy these little poop mobs. So I'll be able to clear this area and explore the next one. In fact I'm going to AFK right now to do this. In the meanwhile this is my mage and we'll turn him into a shaman because he specializes in alchemy. And I don't care about world 3 skills for now. And as I said before, I'm going to make characters of every single class that exists in the game. I already looked at the guide for Shaman, which is once again in the link description below. So I'm following it the best I can. The only mistake that I think I made is this one. Viril Virals. The, the thing is because I don't have any green vials yet so maybe I got that a bit early but that's fine eventually I'll catch up uh, once I did one of each advanced class I'm starting to think I should maybe make journeyman uh, we're gonna make one towards the end of the video let me know what you think of this idea because what I like about journeyman is its uh, ability to play AFK so I don't have to babysit it too much We'll see. So our shaman is all set up. Here we cleared, by the way, this thing with paper towel here. I'm not able to chop it yet with my lumberjack. And look at these rats completely destroying me. Unfortunately, I'm not able to go any further than this. I'm going to need more survivability for sure. I need better gear. I'm still using iron gear anyways this is an achievement for getting 500 gp given but once i i did it i never got the achievement i did something else then it put on my face and i had to do a screenshot but there's eight of us more uh, ignore the amount of people that you see right there so here the bowman specialize in catching that's why i chose the bowman back to the guild thing you see there was two people again there's eight of us i'm going to show you the guild at the end of the video so i choose this because I don't care about World 3 skills yet. And uh, this one, I put also the guide for the Bowman, but for some reason, I 
kind of forgot to uh, show how I attribute points. But once again, I just follow the guide the best I can. So just watch the guide if you're curious to see how Bowman needs to be set up to be optimal for the newer players. Of course, I'm sure a lot of you are way more experienced than I am. Look at that. I have enough gold bars and I finally can make the spike menace and replace that carrot bow. So let's improve this and equip that brand new bow and we're going to see the effect on accuracy. I want you to look at accuracy. Here we go. See, I gained a lot. I gained a lot. And right now I'm working on accuracy. Like I said, I'm going to reach world to boss, but I cannot fight him because my accuracy is too low. For next episode, I'll make sure that my accuracy is much higher. We'll talk about that in more detail in a moment, a little bit later. Okay. I'm at rock pause. So I'm going to make that for my barbarian, my main character. However, the stats are really in line for my mage or my, I should say, shaman. Off screen, after this video, I decided to make another pair of boots that fits warrior better because this is and I gave this to the shaman because this is not great agility is not something that's very useful for the warrior I need wisdom and strength but yeah with agility and wisdom it's perfect for my shaman so I'll give it to my shaman so we get some more accuracy here so I'll take to make more money to him which is pretty cool Next thing, look at that, not get cake. So I asked the Discord community, should I really uh, push hard on farming those cakes which are very rare, everybody said yes. So I put all my characters fighting crab cakes and I was, other, maybe I was lucky, I don't know, but I got them very fast, all these three cakes and I'm able to make the enforced slasher very easily. I was super happy about that. It's a pretty good weapon. So thank you to the Discord community. Every time I have a question, I will get a clear answer and everybody is very patient. I really appreciate it. There's only one question I didn't get an answer from and I'm going to ask you, the viewer, in a moment later on in the video. I ask it twice, but I didn't want to bother people. I'm just going to ask in the video. And you can let me know in the comments. It has to do with the World 2 Coliseum. I'm gonna make a bunch of peanuts, of course, because we're gonna make a journeyman as advertised. It's actually the title of this video. Okay. So I calculated that I had enough. You need about 2100. That was, that's what I was told, but I already gave more than 100. More or less remember how much I gave, but I knew that 2000 peanuts was enough. What am I looking at? Oh yeah. So here I'm going to unlock the, um, how's it called? Band-Aid wraps. That's to replace the gloves for my journeyman because the journeyman cannot yield any of the weapons other than gloves. So Band-Aid wraps is the highest I can get before World 3. That, that's another question I had on Discord. Um, the problem though is I won't be able to craft them. I'm going to show you why. Look at that Potsy rolls. This is the thing I was talking about in the sewers. I believe that's what it is. But my lumberjack is so low. Uh, I'm going to make a golden axe for him. But I really need to improve uh, my chopping by a lot. Because I want to make those wraps so my journeyman gets stronger. And right now, finishing that quest. And now he wants me to drop a stone peanut at a marked rock. Obviously, I had to look it up. No, I don't know why I'm saying that. That's not what I did. I, I look at every single rock and I found this rock with an X on it. No, I, I did that on my own. Uh, I just went in the zone, walk around, try to drop the peanut everywhere. And then I end up in this corner after killing all these frogs. 
drop the peanut and this time it worked and there's a little X on the rock that I saw after that. This initiate the last part of the chain where you have to make five golden peanuts. Each costs 50 golden bars. Unfortunately I did not have them yet and my mining is so-so. Not that bad but so-so. So I found a solution to this. Let's take a look at it. What's my solution? Coliseum. And look, see the fish there below the bridge? So my question was, if I was to fish there, will I get something special? Will I get special fish or don't bother with it? That was my question. So if you don't mind in the comment, please let me know if it's worth fishing in there during the Coliseum event. So the reason why I'm doing this, look at that, I'm getting bars and ores. So what I'll do is farm the World 2 Coliseum to get all the bars I need, not only for my golden peanuts, but for better gear for my main character, so I can get enough accuracy to try the World 2 boss. This is rinse and repeat. And yes, I talk about the World 2 boss because we reached the boss. Now this is apparently this is a very long and complicated uh, or annoying apparently the word annoying it was used uh, for the quest chain to have access to keys every day but I think it's in the Coliseum that I got a key but I do have one key uh, I'm not gonna use it yet you're gonna see that my accuracy is about 35% right now my accuracy in this footage is about 400 which is low of course and at the end of the video it is going to be 500 and I'm working on increasing it by a lot. Now I have another question for you if you don't mind in the comments. When I look at the wiki it says I need 825 and when I look at a guide that shows how to kill the boss it says I need 1.1k for 100% chance to hit the boss. Which one is it? 825 or 1.1k? But here as you can see I have one key and my, it says my accuracy is very low, approximately 35%. Uh, and uh, I also feel I don't have enough health and not, I'm too weak right now. It's just ridiculous. I'm still having to replace all my iron gear with at least golden gear and maybe amaro gear even. So there's some work to do. Here's our golden peanuts. We'll give them to our future joiner. Look at that, he's doing nothing, just waiting to pick up the peanuts. Yes, you guessed it. There is a journeyman guide in the description below because I'm going to attribute points based on that guide. So let's get there. Finish the quest. Here it is. Secret class is gonna give us an achievement. I think it's a secret achievement if I'm not mistaken. Everybody knows this class exists, but it's a secret achievement. Okay. Trophy. This is not the first trophy I get. The other one is Trailblazer. I don't know if it's a special one or a normal one. Never got the achievement for it. But now I'm gonna get it. Right there. Here I'm showing again that I do not have the party rolls because I forgot that I showed it before in another clip. This is how I attributed my points. Once again, I did the best I could with the number of points that I had. And I'm gonna try to go towards card drops for now we'll see later i'll adjust to what i need and like i said i might make more than one journeyman you see that golden axe right there that's for my lumberjack right there so we're gonna start world two with my journeyman i don't even I think I did the first quest. See, kill 99999 Sandy Pots. We're gonna start that. 
we're now in world two with our journeyman and i'll have to give him maybe iron gear the iron gear that my warrior is using or something like that we'll see by the way the warrior let's call him a warrior is a barbarian he's level 60 never got the achievement but I read I'm gonna get it at 61, so it's always plus one level to get the Steam achievements. So here I'm fighting this because it's an objective for a guild uh, task. You see my gear here? It really needs to get updated if I want to fight that World 2 boss. Let's look at the guild. There's eight of us right now. Nobody else applied, so if you want to apply, totally welcome. Anybody's welcome. Join us. Um, Okay, promotions, so I'm 1300 points. Data Freak is a moderator on uh, Discord, that's why I promoted him. And Dark Rundy, that's because he's the top GP maker. Uh, well, I was there since the beginning, that's why I'm higher than him, of course. So here I'm working on uh, Power of Power, because people, that's what people are asking me. And one person is asking me for multi tool, but I'm gonna have to work also on the the stars there so I can access the cards. I want to improve the card drops. So these are, I just showed you uh, where we stand in terms of upgrades and we're going to continue to upgrade every day. I do as much as I can to get GP. So that would be it. Do you think next episode will be called opening world tree? I don't know. I'm going to work really hard on accuracy. If I'm able to get a lot more accuracy than this, and a lot of these red potions and maybe get some keys and I'm game to try the boss so let's see what happens um, I hope you liked this video if you did please hit thumbs up and leave a comment below if you want to support this channel you can subscribe and hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss future videos thank you for watching and see you next time